to Thursday. Welcome also to the FMTraining.tv channel, where we talk about the fantastic, wonderful, and amazing FileMaker platform. I'm here today with the wonderful Nick Hunter, who is here to talk about you and I, UI and UX for beginners in FileMaker, which is pretty freaking sweet. My name is Margaret. I'll be your broadcast engineer for today. Hi. Uh, a quick reminder that we stream on four platforms. We stream on Discord. We stream on YouTube. We stream on Twitch. And we also stream on Zoom. Uh, so if you would like an link to any one of those other platforms you don't like the one you're currently on let me know and i can get that too otherwise i do watch all the questions i do look for all the questions so i can ask nick those questions so uh please ask questions so that nick can answer them uh today we are doing the day three of our be uh you and you on ux for beginners specifically this is kind of part of a longer overall series we're going to bring up with our schedule uh next week nick will be starting the intermediate phase of this series which will be quite interesting, day four, day five, and day six. Um, for Friday, we'll have FileMaker Performance Tuning Hansa with Hansa. That should be quite fun. He's got some new calculation stuff he's cooked up. And then Monday, Rick, Richard will be rehashing the Claris Platform Bundle, which if that's something that you're interested in, will be quite, uh, or confused about, will be fun to see. Uh, with that being said, if you'd like to support the channel, we would greatly appreciate if you'd get the FileMaker FM training uh, annual subscription. So it's 100 plus hours of really high energy video content. We pretty much cover everything under the sun to become an intermediate level FileMaker developer in there. Uh, Nick is a presenter in there. Rich is a presenter in there. Jacob, Calvin, all, all the familiar live stream faces pretty much hash things out in kind of shorter bite-sized video pieces, which is quite fun. Uh, if you've already bought it, we appreciate it. If you're thinking about it, please do. I promise it'll be worth the money. Cool. Nick, what are we doing today? Beyond okay, it's... watching me flail. Okay. <laughs> no, it's uh today it's the third day. So I've, uh, thank you everybody for joining in and uh, so and thank you Margaret and uh, uh, thank you for fixing the issues. And uh, so uh, today is the first day of the uh, UI UX for beginners, right? So um, so what we did was we, we did this session of uh, UI UX uh, design in uh, in blocks of three days and uh, uh, to be like uh, consistent and long enough to talk about things interesting, right? Because one hour to cover everything is you cover nothing. So um, for, so we have three days for beginners. Next week we have three days for intermediate, right? Then we have three days for iPad, three days for iPhone, and then we have a month for what I call the uh, design UI UX design extreme. Okay, so um, so that means you can start now with the three days, and then you can follow, and you know, and you have graduation. You know, it's like a graduation, and every week you have an exam. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. So. Uh, today we are going to continue the series, right? And yesterday, um, David Angelo, I think, uh, talked about, asked me for, uh, asked me a question about the address, right? So the address, the, the question that David Angel um, asked me is this. So let me uh, I have a lot of things going on here. So he asked me for what do I do for an address like this, okay? What do I do for an address? Okay. So first of all, it depends on the country, right? The United States, uh, we have a way to do address. France has another way. England has another way. Every country has a different way, right? So some, some country like Colombia, we don't have here a uh, postal code. You know, it's, uh, we have regions, right? Uh, postal code is used only for international shipping. So, uh, so that's why every, every country has its difference. So personally, and, and that's the good introduction with, the, with what we are, going, we, we are going to talk today. Personally, I am in favor of simplicity. I'm a simple guy. I like simplicity, right? So what do I want to do here? I want to show you how we can do simplicity. So first of all, I want to put here all the fields I need for the address. So that's the field I need for the address, right? So you remember what I've done yesterday, you know, like this, and then you 
put some space here, right? So, and, and we can align, okay, we can align thing, okay. So I have the address, but, you know, let's reshuffle it a bit here. Uh, so I'm reshuffling my field to make state province, uh, so in the United States, we have this first, then we have this second, right? Uh, country, uh, so we have this, like this, and like this. So now I can reshuffle this, boom. Reshuffle this, boom. Uh, why? Oh, because I forgot this one. Okay, so now I have my address block here. So the question was, do I go and I say this, right, and this? So here you have a problem. What about the labels? What are we doing with the label? So we do uh, like FM starting point, which is okay. It's not the best, but it's, it's okay. Uh, in the new one, I removed that. Uh, but the previous one, it was okay. So we do something like this, right? So let's duplicate this, put on the side, and group it. So we do something like this. We have states, and we have zip code. But that's okay because we are in the United States, so we can do something like this. So we, we, we put this like this, and we say zip, right, slash state. So the user must understand, right, that the zip code, that's how we call postal code, or we can say postal code if you want. Postal code state, we can do something like this, okay? So we know the first field is, po but it's not the best, right? Then we have the other one, which is not good at all, but whatever. Uh, unfortunately, people are doing this. So we have something like this, right? So we have something like this, but the side-by-side -side fields has a problem here, okay? Some country like England or Canada or other country, they have pretty long postal code and the region, region, state, province, like Canada, right? Uh, you can have, in Canada, you can have a just uh, say one, uh, it's, uh, you know, you can have a, so it's eight province, uh, Canada, uh, you have pretty uh, as province, is with province. You have pretty large name. You know, you have the uh, you have something like this. You know, so it's not like it's US. We have C A N N Y. No, you can have stuff like this. You know, you can have uh, yeah, the Saskatchewan one. You know, is the the longest one. Uh, so. Uh, you have something like this. So you cannot put everything, right? So, and you have this one, which is two in the same time, right? So like this. So see, you have this. It's a province of Canada. So what do I do with this? I, I, I had a, because, okay, United States, that's okay. CA, okay, cool. Okay. And even though if you want all the state, you know, California, you know, so you have kind of large stuff here, right? So that's a problem of side by side, right? Uh, you might be uh, you might be blocked at one point, okay? So I'm not in favor on this, and it's more work. You break, you know. Let's say you want to reshuffle this. Let's say you want to to put more. You know, you want to put uh, less space here. So what do you do? You do this, right? So you see, it's, it's, you break your stuff, you know, when, when you do something like this, you know, so you break yourself. So this is broken. So now you need to do this. Okay, so you understand? Side by side, and you break, you completely break 
what I call the verticality. Okay. So, you know, vertical is vertical. You don't have side by side stuff. You don't. You avoid side by side. You, you need to avoid it. Okay. It's, uh, look, like I said yesterday, it's, uh, it's a chapel, it's a belief. Okay. If you believe on this, you can do it. If you don't believe on it, you don't. It's a chapel, right? I'm from a chapel where we don't do side by side. Now you do whatever you want. But you understand, I know by experience that is not the best way to handle this, okay? So the best way to handle this is to do this, right? So now you will, you will say, yeah, but you know, uh, that's a big block of, of things, right? So you have the street, street one, postal code, province, city, and primary country. So, so that, that, that cool, right? Looks great. Uh, but you say, Nick, it's taking a lot of space. So the advantage of putting things side by side is to have, you know, maybe to have the, the, the zip side by side with, the, with the, postal code, uh, the postal code with the province and the city with the country side by side. To, to save, in doing this, you're going to save two, right? What about saving all of those, right? What about saving all of those? All of them, those, one line, the other is one line. Because uh, we used to have to see address, so I can use, uh, what the address of uh, RCC? It's uh, uh, Fairfield. Yep. Fairfield, California. California. What happened to me? <laughs> uh, so too many languages is what happened. To no, you. It's, it's like like this. Okay. So we do something like this, right? So so this is we used to see we we we, we can understand one row, an address on one row, right? So that we that we understand. So how we can do something like this? How we can make the address one row, right? Saving all this stuff here, right? How can we do that? Okay. So the how so here I'm going to teach you a, a rule that applies on many things, not on the address. Applied on many, many things. Applying on this. Apply on address, but uh, you know apply on this too, okay? Apply on this too. Why? Let's say you have a contact, you know, info, you know, contact info. So you have the name, first name, last name, address, and maybe your phone number, right? Uh, okay, you have a phone number. Okay, so the question you need to answer to 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 to, to, call, to, to uh, you know to, to answer is this: How many times the name of the contact will change? How many times the address of the contact will change? And how many times the phone number will change? So that's the question you need to ask yourself. How many, so when you have a phone, when you have a contact number or contact info, you know, contact records, right? Like this one, let's say you have a contact. The question you have to, to, to ask to yourself. So you have a contact here. The, the question you have to ask to yourself is uh, how many times I'm going to change the address? How many times I'm going to change the name? The answer is never. You might change the address one day because the guy moved, right? But he's not going to move every day, you know? I mean, I was doing that almost last year, but, uh, you know, but the, the guy is not, going to, is not going to move every day and he's not going to change his name every day, neither. So do you need to display those fields all time in your screen? Is it, uh, is it um, you know, um, useful to do that, right? So in order to 
No, prevent that to happen. Here, what you need to do, it's a little bit advanced for the, for the what's the name, for the uh, beginners, but anyway, it was part of the question of yesterday. Uh, what you need to do, you need to do the same as we do here. So you have a popover with information. So what you do, right? What you do, let's, let's do it for the address, okay? What you do, ah, let's remove this, okay? You put a popover. So you create a popover, okay? And the popover is prime, you say primary address, right? And then inside the popover, you're going to drag those fields, right? So now you have a nice popover with fields inside, right? And you put that here. And you put that here like this, for example, right? And what this is, this will be the address. So how you do, you know, a one row address, uh, that's simple, right? You know, one row address, okay? For example. So how you do this? It's a text, it's an auto entry. I'm not going to do the advanced version, but I'm doing the, you say it's a list of primary street one, primary street two, primary street, uh, state province, no, postal code, province, city, country. And what you do, you substitute the list. So this, I'm doing that all the time. I'm doing a list, but that I'm going to explain next week, but I'm going to show that now. I'm replace this by a space. So by doing this, right, by doing this, what you do, right? So you do something like this. So let's, let's popovers can be modified. You can have like this, like this. So I'm going to put the popover like this on the bottom. So I have a popover like this and I said, okay. Uh, so what we said, 193, 1931, uh, rolling wood drive, right? Postal code 95, uh, 943, I don't know. Okay, it's California, City, Fairfield, USA. So, and I don't have it. Oh, I forgot to do something. So now that I have this field here, I need to include this field as a name of this. So how we do this? How I am putting this field here, because I have a field, This field here is my one row address, right? One, okay, so this is my one row address, right? One row. So how I can put this inside the name of the button? No, I'm not doing the crappy stuff, putting that in the front, no. I'm merging, you know, when you do I need to remove that control. I'm merging text, right? I'm merging text, I'm merging a field inside the layout. So I'm going to you know, do that. So I'm merging that. So now this field, this is the field, right? But it's text. Now I can copy this and paste this inside the name of the, of, the, of the popover. So now I have the address, but I'm going to next week, that was part of next week advanced, but you know, the question came yesterday. So you have the address, right? You have the address, you can change the address, right? 
Bollingwood. You know, you can change the address and, uh, you know, and, and this will follow. So now you know that this won't change every day. And uh, you can see the address because that's what you want to do. But if you need to modify, you can go and modify those and click there. You have, of course, you can do the same for the, for the, for the, you know, you can do the same for the first name, last name. Uh, you can do this. For example, here in Colombia, you have the first, first name, the second, first name, the first, last name, and the second, last name. So you have four, right? So they do that here a lot. You know, they compact the four names uh, because you imagine uh, you have an address, a name, you have a lot of fields, right? But that was you know, a way to organize stuff like this, right? It was a way to, uh, to organize. So I, I keep my verticality, okay? I keep my verticality and I don't have disrupt. I don't have visual disruption, like a small, bigger. I don't have this. Everything is like a column, and it's, and everything flows. You know, everything flows. You know, and if I have a large postal code, sometimes you have, you know, you have a, a postal code like this. You know, right? Sometimes you have this. So what you do if you have a small, tiny box for four digits? And then you have this, you know, in some cases, it's, it's, you can even put a forced number, right? And then you say, okay, I want that to be California, right? Uh, or you say, or you, even, though, even though you want to say uh, Southern California, right? So this is what, so how you do this, if you want, uh, or Northern California, so if you want, this is, more, this is Northern. So if you want to do something like this, uh, you have a problem. If you have side by side, right? So this is cool because you can copy paste the block. You know, you copy paste and you put on another, on, on, on another uh, uh, file, right? So this is, you know, the, the answer on the how to manage those. But that's, I will, re, I will come back next week on this, okay? So let's, let's put that on the side for now. But I wanted to answer the question from yesterday, right? So now I want to talk to you about something in interesting that we, we need to talk about, okay? So it's, uh, so let me uh, uh, come here. And uh, so spacing, sizing, you know, in FileMaker, sometimes can be cumbersome, okay? Sizing, so sometimes, you know, let's say you have a note field, you know, notes, and you have a summary field, right? So let's say we change this. So let's duplicate this layout. So let's duplicate this layout. And let's delete this, you know. No, not delete this. I'm, go I'm going to delete those three, those two. Okay. And I'm going to make this a node field, okay? This is a node field. Right. Right. I want to do that. And I want here to put... You know, I want to put our summary field. Okay, so I'm going to put that here. It's a summary field. It's a big field. Okay. So now I want to uh, talk to you about how to align and position layer fields in space, right? So we, in FileMaker and all the software in the industry, you know, we use 
columns. And you remember uh, yesterday I showed you uh, that the, a book from the third century uh, was using columns, right? So columns in for to display information on the flat surface, pretty much what we do. We display something on the flat surface, right? Uh, it's not new and it's not, it's used for all, all the industry using this. So let's start with, uh, I'm going to show you, uh, you know, this code. So show you this code. So what do we see here, right? What do we see? One column, another one, another one, and another one, right? So let's go and uh, let's talk about music. One column, two, three, four, right? Columns. Uh, let's go and uh, have another one. Uh, what what software? Do, I mean, I'm showing you software that displays info, right? So let's take, for example, our friend Facebook. Right. So what what do your friends Facebook do? Right. Okay, this is my Facebook. So columns, 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 all or all the place you have columns, you know. So if I go there, columns, here, here you have a column here, and you have a column here. So you have column all over the place, right? You have column all over the place. If you look, your bank, if you look, I don't know, uh, all, your, all, your, all your software and, and, you know, websites, you know, they use column. You know, they organize things in column, all, all of them, right? Because it's the best way to organize and present data in a flat surface, it is the best way. So in FileMaker, we use exactly the same paradigm, right? So I have so many, so look, right? So it looks familiar. So we have column, 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 okay? So we use exactly the same principle uh, in FileMaker as well, right? So everything needs to be, uh, you know, organized in a way that you don't disrupt the, you don't disrupt the visual, right? So you need to avoid putting a lot of things and you need to keep always, right? Always, a visual consistency in the verticality. Here, everything looks clean. You know why? Because everything is perfectly aligned. Let me let me show. Let me show you the the concept of verticality. Verticality it's something that you need to keep in mind always. You know, verticality, verticality. Everything needs to be aligned perfectly, uh, vertically. Let me show you. This is a line, you know. Those two, those things here are aligned. Here, the text here is perfectly aligned, perfectly aligned. This box here and this box and this box and this box aligned. The label, the text, the, the, the separation, Label, text separation, button, title, button, title, label, text, label, text, you know. So you need to align everything is perfectly aligned like this, perfectly aligned, okay? Perfect. Same here. So here, you see the button here? It's aligned with this one. See? You have a perfect... Perfect. Right? So the same here is very is well aligned, 
wire line. Wire line. Okay, so everything needs to be vertically um, aligned because you can read correctly, right? Of course, you need to be aligned horizontally as well. You know, I mean, this doesn't need to be aligned like this, but you can see here, I have a virtual, a virtual separation visible. So this, this two, this, this two. Instantly, instantly, not really, instantly, you're going to read this and this first. And then you're going to read this and this second. That's what I want. I want you, I don't want you to read this and this because you won't do it. You will, you will read this and this, right? This is the first, first name, last name, company name. First name, last name, company name. Address, phone number. Address, phone number. So this is primary information. First name, last name, company name. And here is communication, address, phone, emails, right? So, so the, the verticality is going along with what we call the columns, right? You need to organize your data in columns. So how we do this, you know? So in FileMaker, uh, like, like they do here, right? Uh, let's say, like they do here, uh, you know, so let's say our friend Barry White. Okay. So how they do this, you know, so they have a list of things that you can control here. Based on this, you have another list here, right? Then based on what, you have another list here. Right? And then here you have what we call a drawer you know, because you can hide it. FileMaker is kind of more difficult to do that, right? But you can hide this if you want. And here you have history and you have, two, you have a target here, but it's less important. So you understand how it works. You have on the, from the left, right? So first we need to learn about the, the how to read a FileMaker layout. So let's go, right, and create a new layout from scratch. Okay. This is how we read FileMaker. So here you have, right, let's put this here. So you have Important, uh, yeah, important, less important, uh, and then you have this, you have another way to read this, right? Okay, so like this. So this is how we read FileMaker layout, right? This is very important, right? And more you go to the right, I forget about this. More you go to the right, it's less important, right? So this is, basic rule, by the way, uh, right? So you go to the right, it's less important. So let's put everything red. And why this? So why this? Okay. So from here to here is less important. From here to here is less important. From here to here is less important. So more you go to the bottom right is go is going to be less important. Okay, so the most important thing is here, is always on top. And more you go to the right is less important, right? So when I say less important, less, 
you know, you, you don't put something very crucial here, right? You don't think some, you don't put something like, uh, you know, very, very important here, okay? So, and that will heavily depends on how you organize your thing because of course you have exceptions, okay? So if you go to Amazon, let's uh, let me sign out from my account if I can't. Uh, how we how we sign out for oh, okay, so. so Amazon, okay. So let's go to Amazon, okay. So when you. Uh, sorry, is in is in uh, is in uh, Spanish, but I don't know what we uh, Apple. Okay, so we take Apple like this. So when you click here, right? Uh, okay, so you have information here on the right. So when I say less important, it's like the Amazon.com is here. The lo the logo of Amazon, which is the most important, is here, right? It's not there, right? So this is at the end they want to keep you inside the website as much as possible so they you know you understand what i mean so and when you go down you know they don't put the title of the phone on the bottom right they will put that on top right but here this is less important this is less important right the price and stuff like that they don't want you to see the price is there but you know you have here, but those are secondary information that they are on the right, right? And then more you go down, more you go down, more you go down, you have things less important. You, uh, you know, in the bottom you have or contact us, okay? So it's, uh, you, know, you know what I mean? So, so the, the, the hierarchy is, is pretty much like in FileMaker, we have exactly the same. FileMaker, we have the same, uh, you need to apply the same, you know, uh, the same way. So, you're not going to put, for example, the name of a contact on the bo here. You're not, you know, you're not going to do that, right? Uh, you, you're going to put the, the most important thing first, right? And the less important less uh, on the bottom, right? The bottom left, the uh, bottom right, you know? So this is how you, this is how you read. Navigation here, right? search here, right? Because search is auxiliary, is secondary. First, navigation, okay? So, but next week we're going to see that you have exceptions, right? And always when you have exception is when you get, the thing gets complicated, right? But I didn't want to complicate the thing too much today, right? So I want to, Introduce you to the concept of columns. Introduce you to the concept of verticality and show you that when everything is vertical, is, when anything is aligned, you have a sense of quality, right? You have a sense of quality. And everything in, uh, in all, the, all the industry, uh, the alignment of, of, of things is crucial. So it's very important. Today I want to, now I want to uh, show you, uh, where's my layout that I have there? Okay. The resizing, so we saw the spacing, right? Uh, oh, by the way, it's the spacing. I forgot about something. Spacing, right? It is important that you get breathing, breathing, right? Air space between objects. Let me demonstrate. See the space here? You have space here. You have a lot of space. Everything is spaced. You have a lot of blank space between things, you know. So you have a, a visual tolerance of being difficult to read, right? You have a physical tolerance. And that could be enhanced by people, but that can be different by people, okay? But pretty much, oh, it's a group. Okay. 
if I do this, immediately something wrong. It doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel comfortable, right? I just remove four pixels between the text. But you can see here that something is not visually comfortable. So what about applying, you know, upper rules, right? So immediately feel better, but here, those are larger, you know, than mine. So I cannot put that much. It's a little bit too much, right? So this is how we know that, uh, you know, it's, it was a little bit too much here. So now one pixel less is better. So one pixel can change everything. One pixel, one pixel, right here. So giving space between objects is important, right? So you cannot do this as well. So let's say, let's say, let's say we, do to, we do something, okay? We do this, this, and I'm going to do this. Something doesn't look, doesn't look right, you know? Doesn't look right. And it won't look it will look even, even bad, more, more bad, worse, if I'm doing something like this, and I'm doing something like this, and I'm doing something like this, right? So if I break the verticality and stuff like that, it starts to be very, very ugly, right? The same, the same if I'm doing something like this and like this, right? So you understand, I'm, I'm, I'm getting extreme a little bit, but that to, to show you that verticality alignment is very important. Otherwise, okay, it starts to look like, you know, it's not comfortable. It's not comfortable, it doesn't look right, it doesn't look good, it doesn't look, it's, and it's, uh, it confuses people, right? Why those things like this, right? So that's why it is important to keep space, to keep your spacing with, uh, you know, uh, with objects, space the objects. Don't be afraid to put some space here. Apple do it, does it, Mo most of the software industry does it. You put space between objects, always. We have a file maker and especially the people from the you know, uh, from the old time, like myself, we had to deal with small screens, right? And a lot of data. So people will say, okay, Nick, that's good, but what about if I have a lot of objects, if I have a lot of things thing to display on my screen, how I'm doing? I need to display my stuff. Uh, I just show you that. I just show you that it is possible very the in a very easy way. Where is the oh I, I remove it? It was on the side, right? Yeah. I rem, I show you, I just show you that it's very easy to remove one, two, three, four, five, six fields and to make that only one. So to get all your, your fields on the layouts glued to each other in, you know, in, uh, in eight font like this, it's not a solution. If you need to do that to display your, all your fields, all what you need on, 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 the, on the layouts, if you need to compress everything, glue everything to each other and make things so, so small, right? That means you have a problem. That means you do something wrong, right? Because normally 
you should be able to put everything on one layout, right? So first, uh, now that I, I show you this, I want to show you something here uh, about the resizing of objects, you know? Because I know you guys sometimes are struggling with this. With FileMaker, right? We don't have proportional, proportionate resizing, you know? That means we cannot do, uh, you know, like, uh, like many software company does, uh, you know, the proportionate resizing, we don't have it. Right? That means uh, increase that and that. I, I'm going to show you. Let's say now I want, okay, to do something like this. I want to, when I resize my window, I want field to stretch, right? But which one I want to stretch? Right. First, what you need to do is this. So, okay. Which one I want to stretch? I, I want to resize this, you know, vertically. So now this this file, this this field will do this, you know, will increase, you know, with the size of the window. Oops. Hold on. It's too, it's too, uh, with the size of the window, see the field, this field is resizing. But now, if this field resize, if this field will resize vertically, okay, I need to resize, I need to move those down. So this is how you glued your stuff. You say, I want, I, I want those to go down when these get bigger. So you select those, you remove the anchor from here and you put the anchor here. So now when you resize the window, those fields are going down and this one is getting bigger vertically, right? Vertically. So of course now, you need to say, I want this block to get bigger as well, because this will get bigger. Those will go down. So this needs to get bigger as well. That means it stays stick on the top and it stays stick on the bottom and it gets bigger demonstration. So now, see, this block here, those and so. This field got bigger, this, these fields go down, and this block of, of uh, this block here, this uh, shape go down, it's it getting bigger, see? Right? So now you say that that's cool, but now I want right to get those fields, right, to move to the right to the right because I want those fields to increase in size when I move the window like this, right? So what you do, you select all your fields here. So now you understand the advantage of verticality and you understand why it is important to get everything the same size because it, it's easy to do what I'm doing right now. If you have multiple fields on the side, it's cumbersome, it's difficult to do that. Now it's very easy. I want, I'm selecting all those, and I want those to increase in size when I stretch the window to, you know, to the right. So here what happened. If I stretch the window, it's doing this. But you can see there's something wrong here now. Those are getting bigger larger when I increase the, the, you know, when I increase. So now I need to push those on the right, otherwise it doesn't look good. So what I'm doing here, 
I'm selecting all of this. And now you understand why the verticality is important because it's easy now to move things from in the layout. It's easy to resize. It's easy to move. So now I'm saying all of this, I want them to be to the right. So to the top right, right? So, oh, sorry. So now look what happened. So this now go and resize and, and push uh, that resize and this push to the right. And now to make the thing very nice, this object not only did need to resize vertically, but now it needs to resize horizontally as well, because I remember I'm stretching those. So now I have this. So now it looks great, right? So now I want to push further. I want this block to resize horizontally because you know, I want to, you know, I want that to happen. So it resize horizontally, vertically, right? Horizontally push on the right when this one increase in size and increase in size like this. So this one increase in both direction. This one here increase size when I remove, when I move from the right to the left, and from the bottom to the top, bottom, top, bottom, top, you know. This one here moves only vertically, not horizontally. It, I mean, it resizes. It moves to the right without resizing. Why is because what I was saying, we cannot get this one and this one to resize um, proportionately. Farmaker doesn't have this option. We cannot do that. So we need to make elections of what is going to increase, what's not, and how it's going to increase. What I want to demonstrate here now is how easy it is to manipulate things like this when you are uh, applying the rule verticality, right? The rule of columns, the rule of, the rule of aligning things, Right, you see that you get you get a lot of benefits out of this, you know, when you when you when you apply those rules, because all of what I've done here, I have a lot of fields there, right? But all what I've done was easy to manipulate because I applied these three concepts: column verticality alignment. Remember how it easy it was to resize those things, right? Let's say I want to resize them. I want to, I want to make those smaller, okay? So you, you resize one, you select all of them, you make them smaller, you resize this, you resize this, and boom, done, right? Imagine if you have side by side and imagine that you understand you need to avoid the side by side. Side by side is problem. It's problematic. Uh, you know, it's uh, doesn't work. Doesn't work well. Okay? Doesn't work well. Um, especially when you have a lot of fields. When you have a few fields, you can allow yourself to do that. But when you have a lot of fields like here, what you so you, you want two things here. First, you get the benefits of making things very easy to, to build and, and change and and positions in the in, in you know in the in the layout. And secondly, you get a benefit of readability. It's much more readable, right? It's vertical, it's strong, right? So right? So it's much more readable like this. It looks like a, a, a tiny Excel, right? You understand? Right? So do we have any questions so far? No? Uh, does this no. work with FM on iPhone when you rotate from vertical to horizontal? Yes, uh, that would be part of the, of the course of the iPhone. That's exactly what is, how it works. Right? So if you don't have any questions, I want to finish 
uh, with the concept of new morphism. So I call that I call that that the new morphism that you know we can call you know flat design, but it's it's more than flat design. So why I came with that design versus a design with you know more things is because here, so so why okay, let's back off. Why Apple is going there, right? And Google and uh, and uh, Microsoft and what, what and why they went away from this concept, right? Or this one, right? So why they go away from that concept, right? So because it was this is was the book app of the iPad in 2010 okay so look all what you need to do all the effort in design to get things uh, just to display books right the wood the shelf the button that are wooden like this. Why is so many efforts to do something like this, right? Or the calculator, right? Why doing something like this? Uh, you know, why, 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 why adding complexity on stuff like this? You know, uh, like this. You know, be before, after, right? Why? So why everybody is going to to the same concepts of no border, white background, you know, and uh, gray separation. Uh, remove all the unnecessary stuff. Remove the unnecessary labels. We all know that play. We all know that play. Shuffle, you know, I, I, I did that the first day. Volume, less, more. We don't need, we don't need more than this. We don't have borders round stuff around this. It's plain, it's the plain text in the, in, in the layout like this without any further, you know, ornaments. So this is the same here, right? We have the same concept here, right? We have a few text, one word, one, 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 one word, one word, one word, very few explanation, the minimum possible. Uh, and we have also something interesting. It's, we don't have very few objects. This here is one square, is a rounded, is a rounded uh, corner square like this. It's a rounded rectangle, right? That's it. So one rounded is re rectangle. This field, the field here, has no border. Nothing here, nothing here, nothing here, absolutely nothing, no background. So no, nothing on hover, nothing on press, nothing on focus, right? A uh, focus, yes, that's the only one. But, you know, you have nothing to take care about. So you can resize, you can change, you can position, we can do whatever you want with that field, right? So it's easy to design because there's nothing, there's no border, buttons has no border, no background. This is plain text, no border, no background. The only, the only thing that change is the grayed out, grayed, black, blue, but that's it, right? That's it. You have no other thing to talk about, to take care of that. Like this, you know, there's plain text. The only thing that changed is the color and the size, but there's no border, there's no separation, there's no in the sense. So to build something like this, the button like this, the to build something like this is much faster because you have nothing to take care of, you know. You have nothing to take care. Everything is, uh, you know, 
you have no border, you have no background, you have all those things. When you build layouts are things that you need to take care, right? They are totally unnecessary. The more and more and more we go and remove, 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 remove. Why? Why Apple is doing this? Why Facebook is doing this? Why Instagram is doing this? Why? Okay. It's because it costs less money, period. And we don't need any more to put labels. We don't need any more to explain to people what it is because people are educated. So now you need to have the concept of, you, you got the concept of verticality, column alignment, spacing objects, um, uh, new morphism, like, you know, like remove everything that is not necessary, right? Put only what is, has a function, what is, what ha- adds something, right? Otherwise you need to remove it completely. And in the, in the extreme design, I'm going to explain to you how to remove things drastically, right? So if we don't have any question, I think we, uh, yeah, me, yeah, exactly. Jo- Jonathan has a, a good thing here. That old one, that the new one. The minimalism, okay, so uh, because cost less money, that's it. Cost less money to do that than this. This black and white, these are free colors. That's it. So you're right. We do we do some advertisement, but okay. Uh, so less color is faster to display. Yes, of course. Uh, but is is we want? So the question was. Is less color, less object is faster and looks neat, less distraction. Yes, exactly. So here, here you have everything said. So less colors, it's faster to display. Yes, but you won't see the difference. Take theoretically, yes. But this is the most important. Uh, less objects, it's faster to display for sure. And you have less distraction. The best way that we're going to learn that in the extreme version of the of the of, the, of this course um, is how to display the object when they are needed. But to do that, you need a design, you need a workflow, you need a navigation, right? So to do that, you need the architecture. It's like I remember one day, one of my cousins built a house. He built himself the house. And uh, you know, and he didn't want an architect. So to go to the bathroom, we needed to pass the kitchen. So we need to go to the kitchen in order to go to the bathroom. If that sounds right to you, so you need to pass the ba- the, re- the kitchen to go to the to the to the to the bathroom. So no, it wasn't good at all, right? So because you don't have an architect. So most of the time, your layouts and stuff like that looks the same. Okay, you need to go to the kitchen to go to the bathroom, right? Which we don't want to do, right? So no questions. So we can no, go. No, we're good. Okay, so uh, next week will be the advanced version of it. So I'm going to go further on what I'm, I start to talk today, right? Uh, and uh, and we go further on more details and more you know more information and stuff like that more more stuff. Excellent. Okay, that'll be awesome, and we're looking forward to it, Nick. Thank you very much. We'll see you next Tuesday. Thank you. Thank you very much, and uh, have a good weekend.
report of an individual up here who uh, may be a FileMaker license. Uh, well, it's potentially expired. Look at the back of that car right there. Looks like the FileMaker license has expired. Sir, I need you to step out of the vehicle. Sir, sir, step out of the vehicle. Sir, 